Hi, Scott Pop here for unconventional training tips. Shoulder rehab. When we think of shoulder function, we constantly think of strength. Sometimes we think of mobility. But, I, but another concept that is very important for the rotator cuff and the shoulder is quick reaction, or what we call a proprioceptive reflex. As we get older, our proprioceptive reflexes, meaning the incoming information and creating a good outgoing muscle contraction becomes weak or it becomes sluggish in its timing. So we want to train that quick reactive timing mechanism and we don't do it just by lifting weights. We, we do it somewhat by Olympic lifting where we have to transition movements but it creates injuries when our muscles and our reaction become sluggish. So to train this, I have three simple exercises for you to do. One is taking a PVC pipe like this, grabbing the end of the PVC pipe and waving the PVC pipe. And you're going to wave it in all different directions. If you can have a high ceiling, it works better. Just focus on going all the way through and move it around like this. What this does is it creates a quick stopping motion that your shoulder has to anchor. Then exercise number two is grab the PVC pipe in the middle of the pipe and work with rotation. Every time the rotation movement comes to end range, the muscles have to kick on to stop that movement and go in all planes of movement, above the head, out to the side, across the midline, to the back. That's exercise number two. Third exercise, take a weight with a rope. This happens to be a ball. Just take the weight and bounce it like this. This creates good incoming information to the shoulder girdle, especially the scapula, to be able to kick on those stabilizing muscles, and it's very effective. Put it around your fingers. This is about 8 to 10 pounds. If you're smaller, go to 2 to 3 pounds. If you want to work up, you can go up to 10, 15, maybe even 20 pounds, and work the proprioception forward and back. So we've got three exercises, waving it from the end, twirling it from the middle, and hanging it from your fingers. Great exercises to train that quick reaction time so that your shoulder has the appropriate response to whatever position you're putting it in. And it, it especially trains what we call an eccentric load, meaning the slowing down of motion too. So these are great training tips for unconventional shoulder rehab. Thanks for watching.